Hello, doorknob licking fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans Three Minutes Max. Uh, in our continuing USB device series, we're just going to jump straight on in. Uh, we had the registry loaded, and if you're following along at home, you'll have your sheet with you, and you'll notice that on the sheet, uh, you'll have the paths of the different places we need to go to grab information. Now, the first thing we want is the vendor name of the of the device that we're looking for. Now, we should have some idea of a device, or we're going to follow one through the registry. So, we want to go into the system hive. We've determined our our current control set is control set 001. We want to drill down to the enum key, and then we want to go to the USB store sub key. When we drop that sub key down, we get to see all the USB devices that have been connected to the system, um, well, for quite a while. Now, there are some restrictions uh, in certain versions of Windows 10. You only get, if devices haven't been plugged in for 30 days, then they'll be erased from this list. But uh, I can tell you that uh, you can still see a lot of stuff there, uh, certainly in, uh, in my computer. So the one that we're going to look for, the one that we're going to investigate, uh, is going to be a device called uh, the Kingston uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro. And you can see Ven, that's for vendor. So our vendor is SanDisk. Now the next thing we want to know is the product name. In the same line, we see prod for product, Extreme Pro, that's our product name. Then we want the version number. Remember, this is all about correlation. And we see that our version, or in these lines, rev, revision, uh, is zero. So our vendor is SanDisk, product is Extreme Pro, and our vendor is zero. Now we want the device serial number as well. And so in order to get this, we're gonna drop down here, uh, expand that key, and we see a folder with a number. In this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, B61A ampersand. That is the serial number of this device. Everything before the ampersand is our serial number. It is unique to this device. If, in, in all the world, if you see an ampersand as the second uh, digit here, that is not unique. It's only unique for that instance on the computer. Now, it's not very often you're going to come across a device that doesn't have a unique serial number, and this one does. So uh, for now, we're going to stop here, and we're going to look at what we've discovered already. So this is what we know. We know the vendor, the product, the version, and the device serial number. Tomorrow we'll go further, but in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.